this is a hoeing machine with fan coolers on it. It's a machine for in the front, in the front of the tractor, for a bed, for a bed system. And we have uh, in the wheel track we have spring tines for the wheel track. For the wheel track and between the rows on the bed we have a fixed A blade with two L blades. Okay, and I see the difference here in the wheel track. You have the the brackets they can move much more whereas here inside the bed it's much more fixed yes it's fixed and we can also do the last rows the side of the, the last row on the side of the bed okay and here we have the finger wheels and the finger wheels are mounted on a special arm we call it the spring loaded arm okay and we can push more or less pressure on the finger wheels with uh, adjustment the pressure on the spring okay or we can uh, lift the finger wheels when you are in very sandy soil you can uh, lift the finger wheels a little bit okay so you can either put down pressure or you can put up yes, pressure sir. Uh, depending on the soil type okay and can you tell us about these shields the shields are for protection that they will not throw earth on the plant okay okay and uh, these uh, finger weeders some of them are together and some of them are offset what's the difference between having the fingers together or offset yes we have this finger weeders we can move them we can set them next to each other or an offset okay and we can adjust how far the fingers are going into the road right and of course it has to do with the strongness how strong the plants are okay when the plants are very weak we put the finger weeders in offset and when the plants are stronger uh, we can put them next other okay and also more into each other and we can put more pressure on it okay so the finger wheels will work very aggressive okay it's, but it's all depending on the crop and the soil and could, of course the weeds could we look at the finger wheel you brought and could you just point out the parts and the speed of rotation and, and how it works yes uh, here we see the snake tape finger weeder it's mounted like this as you can see and when we are turning uh, we are driving uh, four kilometers an hour then the red wheel is turning four kilometers an hour but this diameter is bigger so it will be uh, have bigger speed and uh, around 30 percent 30 percent faster faster in okay. the row and then it will will throw it will make movement of soil in the row and turn out all the weeds yeah and of course we can put another finger next to it and I know you have two different sizes of fingers. Uh, when is the small size or the large size appropriate? It's depending on the crop and depending on the road distance. Okay. When you, the road distance is small, you cannot use the big finger wheel. You have to you use the small finger wheel. And is one size more aggressive than the other? <coughs> no, they are the same. Okay. So it's uh, when the finger wheels have to work more aggressive, you can adjust it on the toolbar. Okay. But the size is either just to accommodate a larger plant like in maize um, or the spacing between yes yes okay and as you can see the finger wheels are under the metal so it will uh, lock up here the system so the soil won't get in the soil and the weeds will not get in okay so you always have clean finger wheels and this machine here is to mount on the front of a tractor which we don't do as much of in the US could you tell us the difference uh, does the machine work differently if this particular one was mounted on the front or the back of the tractor? Obviously in the back it would need steering, but does the machine act differently? No, the, the result is the same, but when, when you have it in the front, without steering, you can work more precise. Okay. Or you have to do it in the back in hand steer, right. or camera steer. Right. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Leonard. You're welcome.